Introducing the Cayman Minimally Invasive Plate System, featuring Ravine and Tie Fix Locking Technology from K2M, Complex Spine Innovations. This module demonstrates a 360 degree fusion through a single minimally invasive incision. Place the patient in a lateral decubitus position to begin the Ravine procedure. In order to streamline the Cayman MI procedure, it is important to note that the retractor blades should be initially placed 7 mm past the end plates. An offset guide can be used to ensure adequate space for the plate. This will eliminate the need to reposition the retractor when placing the Cayman MI plate following cage placement. Note that there are templates that can be used later in the procedure to individually reposition the retractor blades should placement of the blades closer to the end plates be preferred. After appropriate disc removal and end plate preparation, the elution lateral interbody is inserted. It is important to prepare the lateral surface of the vertebral body and make certain there are no large osteophytes. This will ensure a flush seating of the plate to the vertebral body. The Cayman MI plate sizes correspond with the elution lateral interbodies. For example, when inserting a 10 mm height elution lateral interbody, a size 10 Cayman MI plate may be used. If a larger plate is preferred, a larger size such as a size 12 or 14 can be used. Initially thread the guide pin into the implanted elution lateral interbody until reaching the stop. To ensure correct sizing of the plate, templates are available which follow the path of the guide pin. If the retractor is not opened an adequate distance past the end plates to allow for proper plate placement, remove one fixation pin and using the appropriate plate template as a guide, Open the retractor on one side. Replace the fixation pin in the new retractor position and repeat this process for the other retractor blade. When the desired plate is chosen, use the center plate holder to properly position the plate on the anatomy. There are three options for drill guides. The variable drill guide, which allows 15 degrees of angle variation. The fixed drill guide and the screw through fixed drill guide. A drill connected to the aqua-colored ratcheting Hudson handle, the awl or freehanding can be used to prepare the vertebral body for screw placement. Screw size may be determined by placing the 100 mm depth gauge into the pilot hole. The Cayman MI screws are self-tapping, however a 5 mm tap may be used through the drill guide. The Cayman MI plate screw holes are biased 15 degrees to normal and up to 2.5 degrees converging. Insert the appropriately sized screws into the plate using the size 20 driver attached to the ratcheting Hudson handle. To final lock the screws, use the black torque limiting handle. When the screw head engages on the locking lip of the plate, the plate will lag down to the bone and tie fix locking technology will commence. Due to a difference in material hardness and design, the screw head binds to the plate through a reshaping process and thus forms an autogenic lock to the plate. The torque limiting handle emits an audible click at 35 inch pounds to signify the completion of the autogenic lock between the plate and screw. When the construct is complete, perform a standard multi-layer wound closure. The Cayman Minimally Invasive Plate System from K2M, Complex Spine Innovations.